And that's George and, and Mary. I want to say Anne. George, Anthony, and Mary Ann de Mosco. Um, so this is how the group shows are related to the de Moscos. I don't know anything about George and Mary Ann, really, except for their dates. And you know, they lived in a, they had a house. Uh, uh, their Mag, I know their parents, Mary. Oh, yeah, Mary. Mary. Uh, was nine years old. She was working in a Cincinnati in a garment worker factory. She was sewing clothes, and she also worked for the DeVoos. Uh, she, she was caring for a sick kid at the DeVoos house, and she was swiping, stealing coats and taking bread um, with some icing and bringing it back to her siblings. De Moscow, 1896. She was six years old, or 1906, so she was 10 years old when she came to America. So Mary de Moscow is an immigrant. She was actually born in Austria, uh, in Vienna, Vienna, Austria. So she's an, uh, or no, yeah, she's an Austrian. She would be an Austrian, just like her mother. And um, George Anthony is a Gripshover. He is born to Bernard Gripshover, who was 17 years old when he came over. So he is a native. He's he would be one of the first. Kentuckians or Americans that was born on this soil um, but he'd been the second generation he wasn't the one that actually came on the boat so that's George Anthony and Marianne a little bit about them and Arlinghouse I know I'm related to Arlinghouse somehow Donna Jean Arlinghouse she's seven years old and she died I don't know who that is God loves little children Patricia Diane Arlinghouse she was also she was 12, so you had a 13-year-old and a 12-year-old right here that died next to each other, 13 and 12. I wonder what happened there in 1966, Patricia Diane Arlinghouse. Mary Martha Bergerman, knee grip I wonder if that just means like knee is maiden name. Mary Martha, she died four years ago. She was 75 years old. Mary Martha Brueggemann. I don't know too much about Mary Martha, Martha Brueggemann. Then you got GA group show. I guess that's just a marking to say who owns this plot of ground. Um, Mary Martha Groupshiver Burgerman. It's just some of the area that's by the Sanford Town Cemetery Summit Fire Apparatus and Custom Fabricators. Enomark Screen Print Division. McDonald's, Thornton's, Bank, Interstate, First Financial Bank. I think they call it, I think it's 17. I don't know. famous Dudley Road where a lot of my ancestors had died on. It's 3L Highway is where this is at. This is Dudley Road right here. Traffic backed up. It's a pretty popular spot. Big ass hill. Going up in these hills. St. Elizabeth is where I was born.
So even though Sanford Town is gone, you just got these two signs, Sanford Drive. The, you saw the other one before, but it just goes around. Just wraps around right here. Or this mail cart man's going. Or a woman. That's it. Just that, just this little U-turn here. Uh, the graves are right behind this house here. And it's the only thing that looks residential. You got a parking lot. And it's getting mail, so somebody lives there. And you got this big parking lot in the back. Spacious. And you got this wall holds up all this ground. Some landscaping. And you got some houses up here. Up on Loving Lane. I mean, the 1800s, they would have had a walk to church, right? So, the church is around here. I don't know. Holy Garden Angel Cemetery. Right next to Interstate 275. 3L Highway. 17 Dudley Road. Sanford Town. Detroit. What's up? So I'm not sure who it's maintained by. And like I said, this house is right here. So I'm going to knock on the door see if anybody's there. I doubt it. It's got a little, little rope. You just walk right on in. So... I don't know who, like I said, I don't know who maintains it. You got all this dead grass here, and you got several headstones. I'm going to go walk around. Um, some of them, check them out. There's Bernard uh, Good or Goad or something. There's some more, some more Goads, Goods, Goods, Goods. Let's go Goods.